Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on the seventh problem of the introductory set in CSES, and that problem is called Two Nights. So our task is to count for k equals 1 through n, the number of ways two knights can be placed on a k-by-k -K chessboard so that they do not attack each other. So there are uh, only one integer n, and we just have to count, so like 0 through 10,000. Um, or 1 through 10,000. So obviously there's no ways to put a knight on 1. And then, of course, we have to either find a formula or find a recursive solution such that we can start from, we can like bottom up. Uh, we can bottom up DP or something. But uh, this one seems pretty easy to find a formula for as a knight only attacks 8 at max 8 other um, places on the board. So let's look at the chessboard and let's see if we can find a pattern. Well, of course, there are um, n squared ways to put the first knight and then uh, n squared minus 1 ways to put the second knight. So we have a total amount of n squared times n squared minus one ways to put two knights on the chessboard if they don't if they didn't attack each other. Say if they were pawns or not pawns. If they were checker pieces that can't attack. And then what we have is let's say we have a knight on this piece right there. Then it attacks this piece and this piece, meaning that for this case, we can subtract four, because there are four corners, times the two places it attacks. And we can keep doing this and generalize for every single place. For example, let's go on to the next one over, which will be this one. This piece attacks this piece, or that place, that place, uh, or not that place, and that place, um, that place, and that place, attacking three of them. So therefore, we can subtract, um, this is generalized for uh, bordering a corner piece on this side or this side, meaning there's eight of them and we multiply it by the three that it attacks because you can't place a knight on there and we don't have to worry about this place because we already subtracted it up here so now let's keep going on let's generalize to this board this piece can attack here 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 and here meaning it attacks four of them. However, if you notice, the only other places it can ever attack is here, 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 and here. And if we move this along, these pieces, these places won't ever land on squares, meaning for the entire border, they'll only attack four of them. So then we can subtract uh, n minus four, because that's the amount of squares on one side, times the number of sides, which is four, times the amount of squares it attacks, which is also four. And we can keep continuing. So let's just get rid of all of this, and then get our new board. Okay, so now we've done this entire side. Uh, we've done all of this side and we've done all of this side because of generalization of these like we multiplied by 4 or 8 to get like say this side and this or that piece and that piece and then we did n minus 4 because there's two on each side so like down here these two pieces that would be a corner and that would be the one next to the corner which we already counted here and here so now let's move on to the second layer which will be this one. So that piece can attack this square, 
this, not that square, this square, this square, this square, and this square, making it another four pieces that it attacks. So, minus, because there are four kneel corners on the inside here, so four times four. And then now we can get newborn. We now look at the next one over. This one. This one attacks this one, this one, this one, um, this, not that one. I keep, okay. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. Making it a total of six. So therefore, we subtract minus six, or no. There are eight of them, remember, because this is a corner, and the one next to the corner attacks six. So for each corner, that can be generalized. So eight times six. And then lastly, if you'll notice, you can actually move these along, and they'll all stay the same. For example, if we move them along to the next one, it's just the same uh, same squares that it's attacking, the same number, the same 6. So therefore, it's not 8, but rather another n minus 4 times 4. Because there are four sides, and each side has a length of n minus 4. So now, all we have left are the insides. n minus 4 times 4. And the insides are all going to be 8, because what we see here is if we have um, this spot, which is the only square, or one of the only squares, we've done all the outside two on all sides, that square attacks that's that square, 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 and that square, making it a full eight. So all the other ones can do n minus oh can do all eight, and there are n minus four four squared. Uh, squares of this that subtract 8. So now we have our formula. We've calculated the amount for every single square. But the thing is, we still have to divide this entire thing by 2 because if you noticed right here, we're counting not placing it there and not placing it there twice. So you can always change around the nights and nothing will change. So we have to divide it by 2 to get the total number. So now that we have that, let's start coding. Okay. So first let's create our directory. Directory 7 to nights. And then let's create a new Usico template and call it main and then now let's go down let's get the value of main or we have a long long n and then let's get it in and then now for each value of uh, n starting from 1 and going uh, i equals 1 i is less than or equal to n and then i plus i plus plus and then let's just output our answer so let's just make a um, function called calc so that way we can organize our code just a little bit better and then we just do a new line and then now We see that, okay, so ll calc ll x uh, return, 
So let's do this. X times, okay, wait, we need to divide the entire thing by 2. So it's x times x, which is x n squared, if you guys can see the screen one. Uh, m times uh, x times x minus 1. And then we subtract uh, 4 times 2, which is just 8. And then we subtract 8 times 3, which is just 24. And then we subtract n minus 4 times 16. And then we subtract 16. And then we subtract 24 times n minus 4. And then we subtract 8 times n minus 4 squared. n minus 4. Times n minus 4. I just switched to n in the middle of this. So I'm just going to change all of it to n. Um, that's going to be the easiest solution here. And then we just do that. And then since um, the values are pretty small, and we can just run them from the uh, input here. We just grab the input since it's just 8, and then let's test it. Oh, we have an error. What did we do wrong? Let's see. It should be 8 times 8, not just 8 parentheses. Okay, 8. And we get a wrong answer. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're not using calc of i, and then we forgot to divide by 2. So now that we're dividing by 2 and calcing i each time, we should get the value 0, 6, 28, 96, 252, 550, 156, and 848. So let's just double check for any ints or integer overflows that we could be having. I don't think this will offer integer overflow, so since we have to output it anyway. Um, I just upload main.cpp. Oops. Upload main.cpp. Add it, and then we get accepted. So that's going to be it for this episode of CSCS Introductory Problems. This was two nights. If you have a better solution, comment it down below. Make sure you give this video a like if it helped you. Subscribe for more videos, and see y'all later.